Okay, all right, so we're back. Um, this is video number two. Um, and when we left off, we started talking about uh, this spectrum right here, okay? Uh, and again, on this side, you'll see that the closer it is to this side is more command, so more government control. On this side is less government control. All right, so we look at our notes. Uh, we'll go to this next slide. You'll see that it kind of shows you what I was talking about, okay? None of them are on this side in Russia. I mean, not in Russia, in Europe, okay? Russia is pretty much dead even. So, yeah, it has some, it has some government control, but it also has the same amount of market. It, it's literally mixed. It is the most mixed economy that is in Europe right now, okay? Um, which you might say, well, Mr. Chapman, that's kind of bad because that means they have more government control than Germany. Well, you got to understand where Russia is coming from. Russia used to be the Soviet Union. And what do we know about the Soviet Union? The Soviet Union used to be right here, all command. So the fact that Russia is right here in the middle is a positive thing, okay? Um, Germany is closer to market uh, at 71%, and then United Kingdom is also mostly market. It's, it's at, uh, Germany's at 71, and United Kingdom is at 79%. Okay, so both of these are, are what we call mixed market. Okay, um, technically Russia is too because it's at 51, but um, these two are way more market economy than Russia. Okay, um, so a lot more less government control here with these two. Okay, now if you look at your paper, um, you'll see the same kind of basically spectrum drawn right there. You need to copy what you have on the paper right now, or on the screen. So you need to put 50, and right in the middle, you need to put Russia at 51%. Then you need to write down Germany at 71, and the United Kingdom at 79, okay? So pause the video uh, and, and mark that down on that big long line uh, on your paper, okay? Um, all right, next slide. Uh, human capital, okay? If we look at this, it says, uh, human capital is an investment in education, training, skills, and health of workers. Okay, uh, so what that means is it's when a job, okay, a workplace, they invest in their workers. So if you have a job making chairs, okay, and basically what it would be is your boss sending you to learn how to make chairs would be, that would be human capital, okay? I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, hear me out, okay? All right, so you have person A and person B. Person A starts their new job to make chairs, has no idea what they're doing, and they expect them to make a bunch of chairs. Person B is sent to chair making school where they learn how to make chairs. Which one of those is gonna make the better chair after two weeks? Person B, because they know how to do it. They have the training, they have the education. So, if they make the best chairs, who's gonna make the more money? Well, person B, the person who knows how to do it. Okay, so, that's human capital. All right, when a business invests in their workers, okay, human workers are human okay remember that human capital is all about the workers workers are human so again it is when they invest in their training education skills and health care of the workers okay remember that that's what human capital is so the more you invest in human capital the more training you give a certain individual at a business the more money they make you because the better the product is the better the product, the more money you make because you sell more, right? Okay. The thing, here's the thing about economics, guys. Economics makes sense. Okay. It should always make sense to you. Okay. Just like I just said, the more you invest in a worker, the better the product. The better the product, the more money you make. Why? Because you sell more things. Okay. All right. Gross domestic product is what we call GDP. Okay, anytime you see the, the three letters GDP, that means gross domestic product. Now, that doesn't mean like, ooh, it's icky gross, okay? It means how much money you make in a country, okay? That's basically what it means. 
if we look at the United States GDP, it's how much money we all made as a country that year, how much we sold, how much we made, okay? All right, how much our country made in a year. And you wanna have a high GDP, all right? All right, so the higher the GDP, that's what you want, you want a high GDP, okay? So the more a country invests in human capital, the higher the GDP it's gonna have, okay? If we look at our notes, the bottom, very bottom, you'll see human capital is what, okay? You need to write investment in education, training, skills, and health care of workers, okay? Make sure you get that down. All right, so hit the pit pause and write it down. Flipping over. Then you see <clears throat> blank are the goods and services produced within a country. Like I said, gross domestic product is the goods and service, services produced within a country in a year. It's how much goods and services we produce and sell in a year in our country, okay? In any country, that's, that's GDP, okay? So you need to write gross domestic product on the first line, and then right here where it says, okay, we're on the next slide, a country that trains and educates their citizens well is going to have a higher GDP than those that don't. The more training you give in a country, the better the GDP is going to be, okay? If a country puts a lot of money into technology and they say, we're going to get all new computers, okay? We got to train them, though, to use those computers. The better training they have for those computers, the more, uh, the more money, the, more GD the higher GDP they're going to have, okay? All right, so if we look at our notes where it says a country that trains and educates their citizens well is going to have a what? Have a higher GDP, okay? The more you invest in human capital, the higher the GDP. The more a country invests in training, education, skills, and healthcare of the workers, the higher the GDP. Okay, all right. GDP is shown as a dollar amount. That's the next line, dollar amount. All right, so an example right here says France, 26,000, okay? $26,000, that's their GDP, okay? It's always shown in a dollar amount, okay? All right, and then right here, the next line where it says the blank, the better, the higher, the better. Again, you wanna have a higher GDP. You don't wanna have a low GDP. Higher, the better. This kind of shows you how the GDP is um, throughout Europe. All right, notice the dark green. Dark green means they're doing very well, okay? And the lower, the, the, the lighter the green is, kind of shows you that their GDP may not be that great. All right, um, here is, again, is the GDP per capita, okay? Uh, Germany, like we said, we've talked about Germany. They got a great economy. They're doing great, okay? So $34,200. Um, and then Russia, and then Great Britain, and France. So, so if I said, who has the highest GDP out of these countries, you better be able to tell me that Germany has the highest GDP. If I said, who has the lowest GDP, well, who has it? Yeah, Russia, okay? All right. Um, we just talked about this, so we're going to skip through that. Um, fiscal capital, okay? Fiscal capital, you're going to learn that fiscal capital literally means the same thing as capital goods, okay? And you see that right here, okay? So anytime I say physical capital, know that I also mean capital goods. You'll see it either way on a test. But know that physical capital includes factories, machinery, and technology. <coughs> Sorry. So when a business buys all new computers, or if a, let's say a restaurant, goes out and they buy a brand new grill or they buy a brand new stove um, brand new microwave all new forks plates all this stuff what are they investing in they are investing in physical capital because that new stuff is going to make them more money okay so are you going to want to eat at a restaurant that just got a brand new grill or are you gonna to wanna to eat at a restaurant that has been using the same grill since 1955? Well, you're gonna to wanna to spend more, you wanna to go to the one that has the newer grill because the food is gonna taste better. The better the food, the more you buy, the more you buy, the more money you make. 
Okay. So the greater investment in physical capital should lead to a greater GDP. So the more you invest in capital in physical capital, the higher the GDP. Countries that have invested greatly in capital goods and human capital have a strong GDP. You always want to invest in your workers and you always want to have the best technology, factories, and machinery. Okay? Look around our classroom right now. Just look around. Why do we have great test scores? Because look at what we have. We have such great technology. The government is investing in us and making sure that we give y'all the best education you have because, okay, um, they want you to be educated and get jobs one day. So they say, here, we're going to buy you these computers, and they expect the teachers to do the best job we can with them. So you are literally using physical capital right now, okay? And who are they investing in? You, all right? Um, if we look at our slides, uh, you'll see where it says uh, capital goods includes factories, machinery, and technology. Okay, factories, machinery, and technology. Um, then it says the greater the investment in physical capital should lead to a greater GDP. Okay, so that line should say the greater the investment in physical capital and it should be a greater GDP. Okay. Um, then it says countries that have invested greatly in capital goods and human capital have a strong GDP. Okay, a strong GDP. All right, strong. All right, strong GDP. Remember that. Okay, if you need to do that to remember what it is, that's fine. Okay, hold your hold your arm up and smack your bicep. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, next slide. Why do countries that why do countries that invest more in human capital have a stronger GDP? Because why? Because the more you invest in human capital, the better the product you have. The better product you have, the more money people spend on it. The more people spend, the more money you make. Okay. All right. We need to talk about natural resources real quick. Okay. Natural resources include oil, natural gas, coal, timber, and land. Okay. All right. That's that's. You need to write these down, all of these, okay? Then you need to write countries that have large supplies of these resources, okay? Usually have strong economies. Again, if you need to do that again, that's fine, okay? Gotta have a strong economy, all right? Because they are valuable, okay? Valuable is the next word uh, to other countries, okay? You want to have more natural resources, okay? The more natural resources you have, the more you can sell and use. The more you sell, the higher the GDP you have, okay? All right, right here, countries that have limited natural resources, which is the next line, usually struggle economically because they have to, what? Import these. So if a country doesn't have any natural resources, they have to buy them because you got to have them. So you want to have more natural resources because you don't have to buy any and you can actually sell them. You don't want to have no natural resources, okay? All right, tariffs, quotas, embargoes. You need to write what a tariff is. A tariff is a tax on goods that are bought or sold into the country. An embargo is a government ban on trade with a foreign nation. And quota is a limit on <coughs> imports that may enter a country the amount of something that needs to be sold, done, or made. Okay? So for tariffs, you need to write right here all this. I know, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay? Embargo, you need to write all this for embargo, the government ban on trade. And then quota, you need to write all that. I know that's a lot. You can do it, I promise. Okay? All right? Okay. We're going to stop here because this is the end of the notes. I will go over the rest of it with you tomorrow in class, okay? I know y'all always like to see my dude. Come here. Oh, you're so bad. My dude. She's here. She always sits by me when I do this, okay? Um, are they don't want to see you like that, okay? All right. So y'all have a wonderful day. Um, and after you finish this, go watch the Shark Tank video, okay? And then when you finish that, Go play the games, all right? You'll have a wonderful day. Remember, don't do drugs.